What youth cultures are popular in Poland? What is your attitude to these cultures? These days, there aren't as many punks on the streets of Warsaw as there used to be. Original punk died as a mass expression of youth culture a long time ago. Punks were just one phase of a series of youth tribes, each distinguished by different clothes, hairstyles and tastes in music. People in Poland saw a never-ending stream of fashions, each of which lasted for a few years before becoming terminally old-fashioned. To celebrate the rich heritage of Poland's youth culture, here is a brief guide to some of the most influential culture trends. Teddy boys and girls were one of the first manifestations of youth culture. They came, on the whole, from working-class backgrounds, but spent huge amounts of money on clothes, long, knee-length velvet jackets, straight, flowery waistcoats and wide-collared shirts. The boys wore their hair long and greased back with a prominent quiff at the front and the girls wore ponytails. Ted's listened and danced to rock and roll and their appearance stunned the Polish public. Disillusioned with middle-aged, middle-class values, many young Poles adopted an alternative lifestyle and came to be known as hippies. They showed their rejection of Western material values by turning to the East. Ethnic, Indian-inspired jewelry and clothes were, in, with flared denim jeans and loose tops with flowery of psychedelic patterns. Men wore long hair and beards. Punks were anti-fashion, anti-hippie, anti-establishment, anti-everything. To begin with, there was no particular style. Their music was a mixture of rock and reggae among other genres. They wore ripped or scruffy clothes, t-shirts with provocative slogans, and studs or safety pins as jewelry. Inspired by the newspaper stories and by the disapproval of their parents, young people across the country adopted the new fashion very quickly. But the creativity and originality of the early punks was soon replaced by unimaginative copying. Studded leather jackets and wild, shocking pink hairstyles became a uniform and the punks themselves became tourist attractions. Goths first came on the scene as punk fashions became more and more uniform. Inspired by horror novels and movies, both boys and girls dressed in black 19th century style clothes and wore dark makeup. It was often thought that goths worshipped the devil or were obsessed with death, but there was never really any set of beliefs associated with being a goth. <laughs>